in filming this video when I realized that I was kind of out of focus. Hey guys, so today I am filming a drugstore dupes video. I've been wanting to do this video for so long, but I never got around to do it. I love watching these videos because it makes me save a ton of money. Who doesn't like saving money? So that I can buy more. What you gonna do? I've got about seven products to show you guys here. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first product that I have here is a concealer, and it is the dupe of the Dior Skin Flash Concealer. And I bought that one first with my mom. It was actually one of my first beauty products ever. And then I Realized that there was an exact same dupe in the drugstore that I could get so I got this one and I honestly like almost like this one better just because it just matches my skin tone a little better now this one is a little um, lighter for some reason I was lighter when I was younger they're not very very high coverage but what I like to do is that I apply my regular concealer on which is my Kat Von D tattoo concealer and then I apply one of these on and it just adds like a little bit more of a highlighting effect and takes off all the dark circles then I have a mascara dupe and I have the dupe of the Yves Saint Laurent Everlong Mascara and the dupe of this little baby here is the Clump Crusher which is my favorite mascara ever hands down like high end low end whatever and pair mascara ever the reason why I find these very very similar is because they don't add a lot of volume or like thickness to your lashes they, they add a lot of like length but not so much of a thickness going on and I have very very like thin lashes fine lashes I don't know so what I like to do is that I apply them on top of my regular mascara. This is how the mascara of the Yves Saint Laurent looks like. And the brush of the CoverGirl looks like this. And this one is a little bit like, this one is a little curved as you guys can see. Which is really really good. Because curved brushes just go in the places that you can't really go. Like here on the sides and here and like in the inside. I use this one every single day, I don't use this one as much because it has dried up and I should probably throw it away. Then I have a dupe that I've actually never seen in a video, which is kind of weird because they are like too obvious not to be in the videos. Um, it is the MAC Pro Long Paint Pots and the Maybelline Color Tattoo. These two are very very similar in the colors. This one is in the color Lead Skate and that one is in the color Pink Gold. Now both of them are colors that you can build up to get a little more color but if you just apply a layer or two of these you'll just get this sparkle. But both of them literally last the entire freaking day without any primer like I don't know what they put in them but they just do so I've been really really loving both of these for the days that I apply eyeshadow on which like I just realized that I didn't apply any eyeshadow for about three weeks we'll start doing that a little bit more and moving on to hair products I've got a dupe that I have seen somewhere this time and this is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe and the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. Now I got the medium size of this because I wasn't quite sure if I was going to like it. I'm glad that I got the smaller size. Just because this one smells like pee. Like it does not smell good. And I really love the way this one smells because it smells like coconut. So to be honest here, this one costs more and it's a lot, a lot, a lot smaller than this one right here. And I like this one better because first of all the applicator is a lot larger like when you apply it on it kind of like goes like this but when you apply this one on it just kind of goes like this if it does make any sense so this one kind of goes onto your hair a little bit better and it smells good instead of like your hair just smelling like pee. Then the last two products are facial like beauty products things so I've got a moisturizer two moisturizers a moisturizer a dupe of a moisturizer a dupe of two moisturizers no wait what 
This one is a Vino Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer and this moisturizer is like my favorite moisturizer ever because it moisturizes your face and evens out your skin tone. I stopped using this for a while and I realized that was like the best moisturizer ever even though it's more of like on the expensier side but I have also figured out that the clear and clear dual action moisturizer that Hello Kitty XO talked about on that face care routine or a favorite video I don't quite remember also evens at my skin tone the same way they both have salicylic acid in it which really helps out with blemishes and all the acne stuff going on I just like this one's smell and texture a little better than this one but that's literally the only difference the last product is another eye product but it is not a makeup product it is a dry care routine kind of thing um, it is the Origins Gin Zing Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Deep Puff and ever since I started using this my under eyes have been a lot a lot a lot better they have not only like depuffed a lot quicker they were also like the dark circles that I had around my eyes kind of went away so if you guys are looking to invest in a good eye cream I would definitely recommend that one but that one was I remember it was 30 bucks which is kind of crazy for an eye cream it's small and you don't want to pay like 30 bucks for that but if you want something to deep off your eyes in the morning and like to kind of take off the dark circle effect got the True Blue Spa which is Bath & Body Works Beauty line and I have been using this ever since past summer they see that it's be it works better when you put it in the fridge but my parents are kind of weirded out with me putting a beauty product in my fridge so I don't I don't even put it in the fridge but it still keeps itself cold and what I do is that before I put my makeup on I apply it under my eyes it's a roll on so it's really really easy to apply under the eyes and then I let it dry and apply my regular makeup on and it just really really does deep up my eyes before I put makeup on and my voice kind of sounds weird so I'm sorry about that but yeah so those are all of my drugstore dupes I hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a big old thumbs up if you did and I will talk to you guys in my next video and comment down below if there are any videos that you would like to see because I'm kind of out of ideas right now